Hi there, students. A chit, a noun, and even as a verb to chit. Okay, we have three different meanings of this. Um, the first meaning, a chit or a chitty, this is um, a note. Uh, a little piece of paper that gives you permission for something or it shows how much money you owe or it shows you've paid for something. So I took my suit to the dry cleaners and uh, the man gave me a chit to, for when I came back to uh, collect my um, suit. Um, I was the uh, I was a, a student in class, and the teacher told me that um, I needed to go to talk to the groundsman. So he gave me a chit, a little piece of paper, um, to show to anybody who discovered me in the halls and not in class. It was a chit saying why I was there, and it gave me permission to do it. Um, if, uh, if you want to use one of the company cars, you're going to need to take a chit from your boss and show it to the people in charge of the carpool. Okay. Um, he went to his club and had a meal and then he signed or he initialed a chit to, um, acknowledge that this was the amount of money he owed. OK, so this is a chit. Um, I quite like the origin of this 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 uh, meaning. This actually comes from uh, Hindu um, city, no, no, uh, a, uh, a letter or a note. And ultimately, uh, this comes from uh, Sanskrit. Maybe some of you out there could correct my uh, pronunciation. OK, so we can also use this idea of a chit, meaning a voucher. So um, we uh, my flight was delayed by six hours and the airline gave me a chit, which I could take to the restaurant to get a meal. Yeah, so I handed it in and uh, they gave me a free meal. Um, the uh, the passengers who went on the bus tour received a chit which gave them free entry to the monuments that they were going to see. So it, it's like a small sheet, a small piece of paper, maybe handwritten, it may be printed. Um, it's like a reminder, a message, information, um, uh, or some sort of voucher for something, yeah? Um, I guess uh, if you go to the uh, doctor, he could give you a chit which you need to give to the chemist, the pharmacist, in order to get your prescription. This is another idea of a chit as well. Um, okay, this is by far and out the most common meaning. We also have another meaning of chit, um, meaning a, a child or an immature childish girl. This is another sexist one, this a chit. Uh, she was a mere chit of a girl. Um, perhaps she's the, the girl is a bit sassy and uh, a bit forward. Yeah, he, she, um, she's a real chit. Um, so critical pejorative uh, well putting w women down again yeah definitely sexist um, and then the final meaning to chit um, you chit potatoes so if you want to grow potatoes you need to take them and probably cut them into pieces and then each one with an eye and then put them in the dark for a time for them to chit to grow this sprout and this sprout from the potato is called a chit. OK, so to chit potatoes. This is mm, maybe a more technical or agricultural meaning. It's not so common nowadays. 
Okay, so a chit, a voucher, a chitty, a voucher, um, uh, an, a, pr uh, a note saying how much you owe. Yeah, members of the club don't pay cash. They just sign chits and uh, the club sends them the bill at the end of the month. Um, I, uh, I needed a chit to uh, get a new computer. My boss gave me a chit saying I, uh, I, that I needed it. So it's like an official permission or an official reason or explanation. Um, I guess the, the doctor gave me a chit for the medicine I needed. Um, a chit, a voucher, and something that you sign. Okay, a chit of a girl, a, um, a young, uh, very rather forward um, uh, girl. Notice it's pejorative. Yeah, maybe she's too self-confident, a bit impudent so this is rather derogatory or maybe as well joking as well and then to chit potatoes to put them in the dark so that they sprout so that the chits grow out of them okay what about formality a chit i think i'm going to go four and a half four point seven five in formality for this voucher or the piece of paper definitely use it in an informal conversation i think you could use it in a semi-literary con sorry a semi-formal context as well i wouldn't recommend using it in something very formal um either a voucher a small note an expl explanation a receipt something like that a chit of a girl. This is uh, informal. Um, I haven't actually done the origin of this one. Um, this one probably comes from, uh, sorry, uh, 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 um, Middle English. Uh, a chit, probably meaning a a cub, a kitten, a baby animal. And maybe that itself is related to a, d a word in dialect, a chit, a sprout. And that's definitely the origin of the last one. <coughs> to chit potatoes, I think I would probably give that a five in formality. OK, and then just going back to the origin of this thing that you sign, um, from, uh, from Hindi, uh, uh, I think city or chitti, um, a note or a pass. Yeah, I even gave that pass explanation for it. Um, enough anyway. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Chit.